G'day, my name's Cole and you're watching Criticam. This week, we're going back to America again. For a couple of weeks ago, I got to check out Ray Gurdjie's collection of blue tongue skinks, which I was blown away with. You're watching Criticam. Now we've traveled all the way to my mate, uh, Ray Gergi's place here in Florida. And um, as you can see, he's got a gazillion blue tongues, all different types, stuff I've never seen before. It's absolutely awesome. But I just want to show you this guy. Um, where are you? Same setup as I do at home, no different. I mean, this thing is absolutely, it's amazing. It's just like our white northerns at home, but it still has, in the background, it still has the caramel pattern which is just insane I've never seen anything like this before you know I'm just blown away by this guy the funny thing about these guys is they are born they look normal but as they get older the caramel fades and the white comes through and they end up almost a white animal absolutely crazy like I, I don't know what to say I wish I had these at home and if you think this guy was awesome Let's check out another one that I've seen just before. Put this guy away. Little fella. So this is a, um, an outcross from Sunset, sunset uh, to a, a classic Northern, what they call here in the States. Um, and this thing is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Behave. As you see, still pretty vigorous, but look at the colour in this guy. I mean, OMG. You have, you have to come to America to see yellow, caramel, or amber looking animals, they call this one. Absolutely awesome. But if you think these guys are cool, let's go and check out the babies. Okay, so now we're in uh, Ray's baby room, which is crazy as well. There's lizards everywhere here. Um, but this is what you get when you cross that white one, or the faded white one, to the amber one, um, which just blows me away. Like, look at this, look at this baby here. You know, like this is just a result of, you know, what you could say two line breeding traits being bred for many, many years in America combined together into one animal. And I can't wait to see what comes of this cross. You know, it's going to be awesome. The funny thing about this animal is, you think this is cool now, the way it looks now? It's actually a double head, so what lays between Ray crosses these back together is going to be absolutely awesome. I just can't wait to see the double homozygous animal. I mean, we'll put this guy back and we'll have a look at some other ones. Like, they're just, I mean, as you can see, there's a gazillion of them. Um, just start opening them up. Like, you got stuff that looks more classic, you know, that we'd find in your backyards in Darwin. Hey, and they're feisty too, that's good. Um, I'll, can you get me down here? I mean, look at this thing. Absolutely, just glows. A white to a classic. So yeah, this is a white to a classic. So it's another outcross again, so. Man, the guys getting these are gonna be pretty stoked. I mean, it's just like a licorice all sorts here. Every box, different colour, different pattern, different outcross. I mean, just have a look at this guy. More amber and black. Nice rich bands, a bit of white in there. Oh, this must be Ray's T positive caramel line. Oh my God, look at this thing. It's just blazing. And like, you know, after the, I would have thought, after years and years of line breeding like they have done in here in the States, the animals would feel, you know, soft, not so vigorous, but these things are fighting you, trying to bite you. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these animals. But if you think these are cool, like mostly in my show, <coughs> when you see me, we're talking about skinkoides and intermedia, you know, the stuff we get here in Australia, Easterns and Northerns. But while we're here at Ray's, he's got stuff that you'll never ever see anywhere else, you know? And we're not fortunate enough to have in Australia, so let's check those guys out. Now, every time I come to the States, always have to get my hands on one of these guys. 
the Taliqua Gigas. I mean, look at the size of this guy. He is a giant. And this guy is a wild caught animal, but just a beautiful animal as well. And check out the band, to get the, the thin band with the orange and reds. Absolutely awesome. And they have the longer tail too, um, which is different for the Indo stuff. Look at the color of his bellies, you know, you get the red, the red throat, you know, you've got larger hips, nice long tail, very sharp claws too. Uh, and, you know, look at the size of that head and the jowls. Like, I would hate to get bitten by one of these things. Um, it's something you'd remember forever. But if you think this guy's cool, Ray's got some babies as well, so let's check them out. I mean, check out these Irinjaya babies. Like, man, I haven't seen anything like this before, you know. Ray's breeding them. He's got a gazillion of them. I mean, these are absolutely awesome. But um, another one I want to show you, the Gygus is just crazy. Let's hand these to Ray. Um, this thing is just absolutely blazing. Man, I wish we could have these at home. You know, exactly the same as the adults, just more brilliant colours. Damn it. Why can't we have these at home? Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show checking out Ray's Blue Tongues here in Florida. Leave a comment below, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all the rest of our social media. And thanks again for watching Critty Camp.